So hello, welcome back. My name is Glenn, and as you can see uh, on the screen, I've got my ugly mug. And while we're talking about the two dollar rolls, so the Charles III two dollar rolls and the one dollar rolls, they came out, and these are supposed to be guaranteed heads and tails security sticker rolls, and heads and tails both ends so you've got premium and non-premium i assume not too sure if the non-premium has the security sticker they don't then the one dollar coins at least would just be the standard product that you'd get from a bank except these ones probably have the royal show mint logo on them so i don't have any two dollar let me just get back. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. So, here we have okay so i'm still not too familiar with obs so here we have the two dollar roll so this is the commemorative one uh 20 is it 23 22 yeah, 2022 this is the frontline workers so what we have we have heads and we have tails but as you can see this one has the logo the Royal Australian Mint, and also it has the sticker. So this is a hologram sticker that they're talking about. So I assume all of these rolls have this type of paper, uh, but only the premium ones probably have a sticker. But we'll find out when people actually get them. So uh, if we go back to looking at these, you can see the issue price for the one dollar with the sticker. <clears throat> 60 bucks, two dollars with the sticker, 100 bucks with 15,000, 25,000. So, two dollars is only 15,000 of each, and the one dollar is 25,000. And as you can see, the only difference is uh, five dollars. Obviously, they're charging five bucks for a sticker. Okay, so then we need to go which one's going to be common. So as far as we know, 2023 $1 coins with Charles III is about 3 million to 10 million. I'm not too sure. Wait till the actual figure comes out. And I reckon a 2024 should be quite common. And so I've got a mintage figures uh, just for the Mobaroos. So these two are not finalized, 2021-22. Uh, the 2019 are finalized. So that is 12 million for 2019, 2020, 6.4, that's, that's a bit low for $1 coins, but $1 coins generally they don't mean a lot, between 5 and 15 million is generally a standard mintage. Okay, 2018, 8.3, 2016, we have 30.2, so that's the last year they issued. Uh, quite a lot of one dollar coins so that's eight years ago okay then we've got 15 22.3 million 2014 obviously a low mintage but that's in between two uh pretty high mintages for one dollar coins and you've got 2011 if we go back yeah so no I said 5 to 10 million. No, probably between 10 and 20 million to stand in $1 coins. Under 10 million. I'm looking at this evidence. Uh, that's a bit low. Over 10 million is quite common. Over 20 million. Very common. Okay. So, if we look at $2 coins. So, this is the Royal Australian Mint. Uh, $2 coins. What we have is... Basically, we have uh, the highest mintage, 88, 89. And we'll just go back to the last few years. Go backwards. 
So we have 2022, 32 million so far. So that's quite high mintage, but that's not finalized. 21, 13.9, we're not too sure if that's finalized. 2020, 16.1. Yes, it's about probably average mintage is about 20 to 30 million for $10, $2 coins. K 2019, both for uh, 12.6 million. I'm not worried about separating. 8 2018, 14.6. 17, 16.4 million. 2016, 35 million. 2015, 22 million. So, as you can see, there's periods with actually a few years in a row they issue quite a lot of coins, like uh, 2000 to 2010, they issued probably at least 300 million coins. Mm. So, uh, while there could be a low mintage for this year's $2 coins, I'm not too sure. Okay, so. Here we have the are these the sole results? Okay, so these are the listings. And as you can see, people are trying to get double to triple the value of their coins that they actually paid for. So here we so these are all the Royal Australian images, or maybe this one's not. 120 uh, and as you can see they all come in the wrapper so this is the thing that will probably make them in demand is the actual wrapper but you no know, one dollar coins obviously everyone should have got one by now uh two dollar coins haven't come out yet but i suspect they'll probably come out soon for circulation there's always a demand for two dollar coins so we need to find out what they sell for. So obviously people pay. Uh, so the two dollar coins premium uh was paying sixty dollars over. Premium heads tails, yeah, fifty dollars over. Uh, plus you got postage. So you're paying about forty to sixty dollars over. Uh, a lot of these people haven't even got them. But this person has them. Where did they get the actual roll from? Okay, obviously the the actual see I'm not too sure where these people get them from. Probably a coin shop. But these not supposed to have been released yet. So this is very suspicious. Got a lot of people trying to scalp these off. So there's some people that want to buy these just to sell them. There's other people that want to buy them just to palm them off. Obviously, they're selling a $2 coin for seven thirty. This is going to be an average mintage. Yeah, then you just lost your money because obviously it's dinted as uh, it's really only worth $2. So people have got these rolls already. How the hell did they do that? Okay. Obviously, they've, they've ripped the roll up. And, yeah, that's, that doesn't look too bad. But this is very suspicious, and obviously the mint's stuffed up again. Because they let people get these before the actual ballot's been finalised. When was this sold? 20 food, yeah, these are all today. Okay, so, but a lot of these images are uh, taken from a Royal Australian Mint. Like, here's another one. Someone's got it. Scalping. So, this is a heads, heads. So, this is non premium. So, $65 over retail value. Hmm. So basically, once again, we've got these coming out, and well, some people want them for the collection, so they're going to pay. Then you've got new people that have a FOMO, fear of missing out, and they are just going to be taken for the cleaners. I think 
after this, the, the price of these are just going to drop. There's no reason why you should be paying for one of these when um, you can get these. You, you can still get a lot of these um, security rolls. Okay, so yeah, OBS is playing up again. Anyway, so yeah, you get a lot of these uh, security rolls with commemorative coins. You can still get them for, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks. A long term, I reckon that's more a better investment. Anyway, hope this helps you for coin collecting. Don't buy these over inflated prices. Just wait a month, two months, see how it goes. If you miss out because the price gets too high, don't worry about it. Just move on to something else. Something else is going to come along. You're going to forget all about this. And the new product, like the Skippy the Kangaroo 50 cent coin, everyone's forgotten about it. I don't know, I didn't know there was a Skippy the Kangaroo coin. So and then the demand just goes out of it. Anyway, thank you and hooroo.